Bernoulli's principle is really important in physics and all types of sciences. Bernoulli's principle states that as the velocity of a fluid increases, the pressure exerted by that fluid decreases. Now what that means in practical term is that a slow flowing fluid exerting more pressure than a fast flowing fluid. This means that in a moving fluid, pressure and velocity are inversely proportional. When one is high, then the other is low. If the other is high, then the other is low. This is exactly why when you're in the shower, the shower curtain will stick to your leg. And it's because the fast moving water from the shower head creates an area of low pressure, which causes the shower curtain, which is in that area of low pressure, to stick to the nearest object, which happens to be your body. The principle also applies to airflow. One of the most dramatic everyday examples of Bernoulli's principle can be found in the airplane. This is the reason airplanes stay in the air. Lower pressure is caused by the increased speed of air over the wing, and the area of pressure under the wing is higher, the wing is pushed upwards, thus making the plane stay in the air, stay afloat. You see, air moves faster over the upper surface, which causes the air pressure to decrease. And the lower air pressure over the top of the wing gives it lift. But some air is directed beneath the wing, which the lift must exceed the weight if the aircraft is to fly. So the final example I have today for you guys is a uh, clip I took by myself. It is a blow dryer demonstrating airflow with a two liter head, um, the nozzle I cut off and attached to the blow dryer. And it makes a ping pong ball float in the air almost magically and um, even tilting it out to almost 45 degrees as you'll see in the latter half of the video that it can still stay afloat because it's in that area of low pressure and so it will stay afloat just like an airplane will. Thanks guys.